Hey guys, welcome back to Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Last time we got Riju and Taba. So we got to do their training, starting with Riju because we got to play as her. I beefed her up a little bit and fused what I could. So she's got a little bit of power to her instead of just getting her and going from the start. Unlike Taba, so we got to see what we can do. All right, defeat many enemies. Yep, pretty much standard. We already know a little bit of how she works with her little sand seal, Patricia. That's crazy. That was two presses? That's the thing, I gotta learn what does what. And we have some safety to play around, because we know these training ones are never really that difficult. Yes! I love seeing those red rupees, man. Yeah, she has the potential to be a beast. I mean, I guess every character does. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Not very powerful, though. That's the problem with that kind of stuff. What does her magnesis do? Oh, wow. It's almost exactly like our boost is crap. Can't do that. This move. Oh. You just gotta not crash into stuff. Okay, so our special is very similar to Urbosa, it just involves Patricia and that Thunder Helm, which is neat. Yeah, she needs some power. There we go. Man. This makes me nervous about Tabo's training, because he has nothing. We didn't get a chance to use him yet. She's like always on the move. That could be a problem with those one-on-one -on -one encounters. But this, dude, man. That's awesome. I mean, next to Rivali, she just might be the best for taking on big hordes of enemies. That's a cool combo, too. Just trying to figure out how many presses at what time does what here. She starts whipping that seal around, and it's hard to tell, like, what's the end of the animation. Yeah, I think we'll be alright here. We're almost at 200 kills, two minutes to go. Just seems to keep respawning new mobs, so. It's very nice. It's exactly what you want from a training mission. Just enough to get a feel for different combos and stuff. So, how's everybody doing? <laughs> Man, that's crazy! Yeah, if you know how to do that right, and swarm them all in with the ZR move, and follow it up with a huge dive, that could be really good, especially if we get our power going. But yeah, for non-game related things, uh, I just got back from the store, and the energy drinks that I usually purchase, they only have one box of them remaining, and it was all battered and... I didn't trust it, so I got a different one, and it's not as good. Shouldn't even dr drink them at all, I know, but... Without them, I'm like, hey guys... So, we're playing Hyrule Warriors, and I don't know... <laughs> it's a crutch, like alcohol, but different. Actually, more unhealthy than alcohol, probably. Isn't that something, if that's the truth? Ah, too early. That's right! That guy was a real jerk. <laughs> Very nice. Gerudo Bridal. I like Riju. I mean, I've always liked her. She's fun to play as, too. A very nice addition to the roster. If it makes the story weird. 
I don't know. We'll have to see. Time travel is always a nifty thing, but then again, Ocarina of Time is still considered the, the best Zelda game by many people. And overrated by many people as well. And that was all about time travel. It caused the mess of a timeline that we know today. I don't know, man. So. Taba is next. Or. Oh. <laughs> Bonus combo, yes. Oh, we need some melons, dude. There's a shop. Well, let's just do it. Am I stronger than before? My gosh. There it is. One, two, three, four. I was wondering where that one was. And now we know. Vasak. You're the... Yeah, that lady. Uh, Who's the one who sells the melons? Where are you? I'm coming for you. Not your mushrooms. It's not Kakariko. That's just the pumpkins and the trumpet. It's somewhere, it's like a stable or something. Aha! Awesome. Found her. Palm fruits might be needed too, you never know. But, hmm, just stick with the melons. Okay, Teba's training. Even though I still like to call him Teba because it sounds like Tevia from Fiddler on the Roof. Since he has absolutely nothing going for him, this is our first time using him, I want to increase his damage output. Not concerned about the palm fruits and stuff, but whatever. We've got plenty. I'm ready to stump my beak. Wow, that's good. Wow, that's good. Great stuff. I forgot about that. Taba's voice, man. Seems alright. I always thought he was an alright dude. Better than Ravali's attitude. Alright. Feels a little slower than Ravali. Oh man. Time to clean up this mess. Wow, Falco much? <laughs> but, all right. So ZR fires a powerful arrow. The load screen was saying, depending on how long you hold it, dictates its power. Holy crap. Wipe the floor with them. Yeah, really wipe the floor with them. That did the trick. Okay, special is a bomb arrow barrage. Dude, he is insane! We gotta get him a better bow. He might be better than Ravali in terms of just... Okay. Jeez, he like embraces the archer stuff more than Ravali, it feels like. Oh, that is so cool! You can move and fire that many arrows? Uh, why isn't it working? Oh, wait. You can't hold L that whole time. You have to let go of L and only press Y. I did not know this. I thought if I let go of L, it would get me out of that aiming mode. This is so cool, dude. My god. It didn't kill him though, that's the thing. But this will ruffle some feathers. Yeah! God, that's good! Whatever he was saying before. <laughs> I love the <this> move. <laughs> He's firing it with his foot. Alright, let's see what. Okay. Yeah, we gotta beef him up and then he'll be pretty much unstoppable. But I see now his weakness might be this one-on-one -on -one stuff. Kind of like Riju felt like she wasn't very good one-on-one -on -one, because she's always on the move. Wow. Yeah, he has some crazy potential to be... Well, like the better characters. Is that widespread? Did we get a bow? What is he using anyway? He can't have Rivali's bow, I would imagine. Oh, it's okay. It's those Rito ones. Yeah. Somehow we have to get his weapon up there on par with everybody else's, and then 
He might be better than Rivoli. I don't know. I got to go back to using him, too. Because it's been a while since I was a bird. So well, there was something else, though. There wasn't all that there was. Besides the next thing, we got a free Daruk and Mifa still, but that'll be its own episode. Ah, okay, bonus combo, probably. Yeah! Looking pretty good, huh? Curious what that one does. The, the one, two, and the one, two, three were very nice. Hmm. Something over here. Yeah, this. Needed hardy bass, so we're okay there. I was thinking of another link thing that needed the whole bird, so I didn't want to use these just yet. I have further to soar. Yeah. Level 45. I did that. Beefed him up a little bit knowing his weapon was junk. Uh Well, there was this thing. Fleeing the weather recommends level 41, so he could do it. But just to be safe, I'm just gonna go with Link on this one. Huh. See what it's uh look at that, they're 80 plus 5. Its bonus things are weird though. I tacked on that training sword from the Breath of the Wild save file that I don't know, so it's like got ice resistance and or no, I didn't. I think I trashed the training sword. <sighs> Go with our good old carrot stew. And this one, the dubious food. Plus 100 rupees. I need it so bad with those Dorians. Uh, yeah. I gotta remember to keep buying Dorians. Even though they're kind of expensive. That dubious food, man. I need the rupees. Head for the targeted position. Aim for the open spot. You got it, electric stuff. Yeah, actually, Table would have been a good pick with that wide foot spread he's got. You shoot down all these bats. You know, this isn't a very long map. It looks... Oh, well, get out of here, pal. I'm looking at the map, and you're swinging your nuts around with your stick. Okay, this is too much nonsense. Get out of here. Yeah, dude. Five minutes? This, this is a grinding mission. If you need electric key swings... I might come back here as other characters and beef people up. There was a recipe that increased the drop rate of materials, right? Because that combined with the rupees. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to speak too soon, though. I don't know what we're heading towards. But this is a very small map with a ton of electric parts. We'll see what the rewards are at the end, because, yeah, this might be the best grinding, the fastest grinding spot. No chews, though. Isn't there a way to turn chews, no matter their type, you can turn them into another chew element if you use one of the rods? The Moblin is chasing after Link. Oh, I see, coming from the top. Goodbye. Thanks for coming. See you later. away. Wow, that's Breath of the Wild Instinct. I always use remote bombs to destroy Keys running around Breath of the Wild. I just saw the pack of them and I was like, oh, bombs. There they are, yes. I think I need some of these, though. Get out of here. Oh, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Oh, my gosh. Gotta pick them off with the bow or bombs. But yeah, if I needed not electric shoes, there was something earlier that I needed a ton of fire ones. So theoretically, if I used the fire rod on all these electric shoes, I could get red chew jelly and not have that issue. Hmm. 
Yeah. Get out of here. I'm gonna take the electric parts for now, because you never know, especially now that we have Urbosa and Riju. If anything pops up with their faces, it might ask for electric things. You never know. Oh, hello. Never have enough of these balloons, either. No Koroks. I swear that some of these side missions have Koroks in them, which is kind of annoying, because it'd be nice if they stuck to the idea that only the main missions do. Whatever. Okay. Oh, wow, the moblins are just pouring in, huh? in a flurry rush. I don't know how you can do that. There he goes, swinging like a madman. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm definitely coming back here with other characters. And I'm using that rupee meal, dude. So for like the next three hours, I'm going to be playing this game, this mission with all the other characters. Cooking up dubious food and trying to rack up rupees. And constantly rebuying Dorians and things. That's my plan right now. Yeah, a thousand rupees eat? Yeah, that'll be good. Not very good weapons, though. But with new characters, it might be good enough to at least get something fused so that you have like a level 5 weapon at least. Yeah. Sounds like a plan, but let's see if anything else pops up real quick since this is like a side mission episode yep and all those other things nope that's it all right so i gotta get the thing for Link's upgrade there well it's not bad we're already done time to go rescue daruk and mifa which will be next time yeah. but off screen i'm gonna be doing this buying dorians huh? So that I can keep making that dubious food. And I'm going to try to collect some materials and beef up some of these guys, I think. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next main mission. Take care.